The women that you least expect are the most miserable. They're the most sad. Whenever you see the women, let me give y'all a tip. Whenever you see the women out here talking about I'm single, I'm out here living my best motherfucking life, vacations, I'm flewed out, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I ain't attached to no man, I ain't got no kids, or let's say they do got kids, you know, I'm just out here living my best life, single mom, I don't need no man, we good, me and my kids gonna be good forever, we out here, most miserable. Whenever she's saying all of that shit, the most miserable. When she's bad, let me, let me give y'all this tip. When she's a quote unquote bad chick, super sad. Do y'all hear that? Oh, you, you gotta put the s on it. Super sad. Let me tell you why. No, no, David, stop. This is real talk. Yeah, flewed out. Hold on, hold on. Drop the gems. Hold on. Brian, chill. The badder she is, and she's saying that, the sadder she is. Because in her mind, she shouldn't be in this type of predicament. She shouldn't be in a situation. Are you following me? It's like, it's like knowing that you should qualify for something, but you don't have it. So it's making everybody question, like, what the fuck is up? Why don't you have it? Like, you should have this. And as women, we already feel like we are entitled. Like, we're, we're entitled to everything and anything that we want, men included. I should be able to have access to any man that I want, his money, his resources, everything. I should have that as a woman. So when you add on the fact that I'm also in a very a very attractive woman. And I don't have that. Do you know the slap in the face that is? Because again, I my pretty privilege should be should have me out here winning. And I'm not. Not in the ways that I want to. And this is where a lot of you males get it fucked up, right? Because y'all are out here looking at the lifestyle and what would be fulfilling and thrilling for a man is not necessarily translated over to when it comes to women. So y'all can look at her like, damn, like she's living her best life because, you know, she she's pretty, she's getting flued out by different dudes, you know, she getting the dick when she wants to, you know, these dudes doing X, Y, and Z. Uh, they they taking her out on dates. And she's saying that she's living her best life, but she don't want no man. And she don't need this. She don't want that. She don't need this either. So, yeah, like, I know if I was in that situation, I would be good. You're a man, sir. Hold on. You're a man, sir. We're built different. We're wired and designed different. What you would be okay with we, we're not. We can have men that we are having sex with. We can have men taking us out on dates. We can have um, a little bit of pocket money. You know what I'm saying? We can look good, but internally, something is telling us, sis, this ain't it. This ain't it. This way you can have a seemingly accomplished woman in her car crying about, yeah, I'm over this. I, the, the next man that come along, I'm going to marry him. The next man that's doing S Y I'm going to marry This is why you can have that. She can be attractive and everything. Again, like I said, the more attractive, the sadder. Because I should be, well, I should be further than this. I should have this bag. I don't have that. I got men dicking me down at best. And the men that want to, let's say, because this is also a factor, again, levels and layers. The men that want to settle down with me, 
again. Lame as fuck. Weak as fuck. A simp lollipoppy. We don't like those. Female nature, we don't like those. Mm-mm. I need a masculine man. I need somebody who's going to check me, boo. I need that. So, fellas, y'all out here like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you the world. You my queen. Everything revolves around you. I love you. Yeah, uh, baby, baby, please. Don't like that. So even the men that she can choose from, she don't want those. Oh no, weak ass man. Oh no, weak ass man. Hell to the knob. I want a masculine, no nonsense, authoritative, assertive, go getting, providing, protecting, leading, teaching. Don't play with me, ass dude. I need that type of man. Not no baby, baby, please. Oh, fuck no. Baby, baby, please, down on my knees, ass nigga. No. The f get your ass up. I'll use you, but I'm not fulfilled with you. And y'all will believe, like, well, yeah, that's the life right there. You got dudes still doing X, Y, and Z for you and doing it. Yeah, that, these bitches happy. They good. No. No. We're women. We are wired, programmed to serve. To nurture, to love, to commit, to submit. That's how we wire. We born like that. Even the most genetically modified, we born like that's it. That's internally programmed. Y'all laughing. I'm so serious. Look, church. Hold on now. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Diddy voice. That's that's how we wire. So when we got a man, baby, baby, please down his knees. I don't want him. Like, yeah, he cool, but he be doing stuff, but girl, he just something about him. I, he just he ain't no man. That's what it is. And the men that we want, we're saddened because we can't get them. Y'all are not checking for us, or y'all just want to kick it with us. One of the two. We either completely turned off. Or you only turned on bars. You either completely turned off, like, uh-uh, I don't want that. Or you're only turned on, which means you only want to have sex with me. Marriage is not on the table. Long-term, committed, monogamous relationship, not on the table. My ass on the table, that's it. We are sad as hell because we're not getting presented with the life and the men that we wanted. The men that we thought we would always have access to. We don't have that. And in order to save face, I have to pretend like I'm good. I have to pretend like I don't want you anyway. But really, I do. Trust me. Trust me, it's your little bit sister when I say they're telling me the truth. I'm seeing the truth. And like I said, they, they will have even me, <clears throat> excuse me, even me fooled to where it's like, damn girl, I thought she was happy like this. I thought she really liked this. It's like, girl, like I make the best of it, but it's not, it's not what I want. It's not what I want. Like I want a husband. I want a family. Like I don't want to be in the streets doing all these different dudes every fucking week. Like I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of starting over. I'm tired of dating. I'm tired. I'm tired. Like I can't. Like they, they are not getting presented with the options and the men they want. They're just not. And again, like I said, the badder, the sadder. Right. And then some of them, they just know I have no chance. So they're really angry and bitter, which is again just boils down to sadness. I'm sad and disappointed. So, fellas, 
I know we out here, F-R-E-E, fuck nigga, free, uh, 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 let's go. I know we out here making it seem like we just ready to let's go, but we not. Sad as fuck. And ladies, I'm really trying to get us out of this mode of having to pretend, having to put on fake fronts and fraud and facades, being fraudulent as far as the life that we're living and feeling good and feeling fulfilled and happy. I'm trying to prevent that. All we got to do is get with the good quality men the first fucking time. That's all we got to do. Instead of saying, oh, they're boring or I don't want them or, you know, or just being in love with the fuck nigga. Like, that is really what it is. He ain't shit, girl, but I think he got potential and he just need a woman like me. Stop that. Stop doing that. And like I said, y'all, do not believe the hype. We're satisfied.